All right, hello mga mahal na kapatid, kamusta po kayong lahat? Isang uh, mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Nandito na naman tayo ngayon, ano? Uh, for this uh, video po, meron po akong isang uh, uh, napakahalagang uh, video na ipapanood po sa inyo. Ito po yung size you may have a uh, high functioning depression or kung sa Tagalog kumbaga, ito po yung uh, mga palatandaan ng isang tao ay nakaka-experience ng depression ngunit hindi lamang po niya alam. So mahalaga po mga kapatid natin pong mapag-usapan ito or mapanood po ninyo ito dahil uh, sa panahon po ngayon ay napakaraming problema ng mundo. Yung COVID, saka mayroon na naman itong tinatawang na monkey fox, ba diba? So sa hirap ng buhay, tapos uh, hindi po talaga malabong ang ilan po sa ating mga kababayan dito uh, sa Pilipinas or maging sa ibang panig ng uh, mundo o yung mga OFW po ay makaranas po talaga ng OF ng ng, ng uh, depression. 'Di ba? So mga kapatid, uh, bago natin umpisahan, kung bago ka rito sa channel ko, sana huwag mong kalimutang mag-like, uh, mag-comment, mag-subscribe at paki-click na rin ang ating uh, notification na uh, bell lang sa ganoon ay updated ka kapatid kapag may mga bago po tayo mga upload. So kagaya nga po ng sabi ko kanina, ang depression po ay nakakamatay. Kaya uh, nararapat lamang po na alamin natin ang mga signs, ang sim sim symptoms nito ano? Kasi uh, prevention is better than cure talaga So hindi lamang po ito na experience nating mga Pilipino kundi ng lahat ng tao sa buong mundo ano? So kung ikaw kapatid, uh, kung naka-experience ka nito, uh, mas maigi na rin po na uh, magpatingin po tayo ng doktor para maagapan po ano? So Once again po, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa patuloy niyo pong pagsuporta sa channel ko. Ano, uh, huwag po tayong magsawang tumulong sa ating kapwa. Kagaya po ng ginagawa natin, patuloy lamang po tayong mag-share ng mga videos na kapupulutan po natin ng aral lahat. Ano, ika nga, sharing is caring po. So, lahat, so sa lahat po ng teams, sa inyo po lahat, sa ating mga admins, sa ating mga members at and of course, sa ating mga uh, undying uh, viewers mga visitors ano at aus puso po ang ating pasasalamat po sa inyong lahat ano kaya uh, talagang uh, hindi po tayo talaga titigil na makagawa ng mga video na katulad po nito so guys tara po atin na pong umpisan pero bago yan intro po muna tayo depression is a big reality in today's modern age According to the World Health Organization, depression is a common mental disorder. Globally, more than 264 million people of all ages suffer from depression. Depression is so rampant that many adult Americans suffer from depression. According to the National Institute of Mental Health (NIMH), an estimated 17.3 million adults in the United States had at least one major depressive episode. This number represents 7.1% of all U.S. adults. This means that the likelihood to fall under depression is extremely high. What then can one do to prevent it and how do you even know you have it? In today's video, I am going to share with you 18 signs you may have high functioning depression. If you are new here, consider subscribing to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. Behind closed doors, your bed and pillow are your best companion. Do you constantly want to go home and cling onto your pillow? Do you just want to lie down even when you are not really tired? This can be a sign of depression. Many people are depressed even without knowing. Resting when you are tired is normal, but feeling like you should rest but unable to do just that is not healthy. 2. You may either find eating excessively pleasurable or you do not find food appealing. People may lose their appetite when they are feeling depressed. Do you still crave the things you used to crave? What happened if this has been you for a while? You may need to get some help. 3. Difficulty falling asleep or staying awake Do you find it difficult to fall asleep? Maybe you should get some medical help. Sleep is very important and everyone needs at least 7 to 8 hours of it daily. If you don't sleep well, you will not be rested enough to face the day. 4. You no longer derive joy from previously pleasurable activities. People who are suffering from depression usually don't enjoy doing the things they used to do. It is as though those things cease to have as much meaning 
It usually doesn't happen abruptly, so you should ask yourself certain questions to ensure you haven't derailed. When was the last time you saw a good movie or ate your favorite meal? 5. You may criticize your actions a lot. When you are depressed, you may start to criticize everything you do. It is easy to stop trying out stuff when you feel you are bad at everything. This can hinder your professional and personal growth. 6. Getting through each day feels like a Herculean task. Have you ever woken by 5 a.m. and stayed in bed until 10 a.m.? Sometimes, it can just be a lazy morning. But if you do this often, it can mean that you are suffering from depression. 7. You always carry a plastic smile around. People who are depressed usually don't want people to know. If you find yourself saying you are fine and smiling when you are not feeling okay, you may be fighting depression. Ask yourself these questions right now. Are you happy? Depression is caused by unhappiness, but not all unhappiness leads to depression. Depression comes up when you are unhappy for a long time without dealing with it. It can also come from a traumatic event like rape. If you are not happy, don't smile. If you smile, you allow yourself to savor the pleasure of happy thoughts. You don't owe anyone an explanation for your feelings. Do you? Be you. 8. Constant feeling of sadness and dejection it is normal to feel sad, but there are people who feel so sad, their chest hurts. It can be a response to strong emotions, but people who are depressed may feel this frequently. The sad thing about depression is that you may not even know what exactly is causing the problem until you undertake some soul searching. Try to undertake activities that make you happy and be courageous enough to confront your past. No human emotions or response happens without a cause. If you feel dejected, there's a reason. Sometimes it has been so long you may not remember but your subconscious does not forget. 9. Your mood fails to stay elated after a good time out with friends. For people who are depressed, hanging out with your friends will not help much. They are already unhappy and seeing others happy while they don't feel the same will just make them more unhappy. In those moments, they are best left to be alone. 10. You frequently start to fall back on coping mechanisms to get through each day. People who are depressed try to engage in different activities to cope with their issues. Some binge watch movies while others play music, but it is usually never enough. They forget temporarily and then remember again. It is not something you want to do if you have this challenge. Journaling might be a more effective way of dealing with it. When you journal, you pour out all your thoughts. You also get to reflect on your actions and decisions. This helps you to take better rational decisions or reach better conclusions. 11. Trivial issues irritate you the most. Usually, trivial issues don't irritate someone who is fine. It is people who already have other problems that trivial issues annoy. Imagine stepping on someone by mistake at the office and they yell at you for 20 minutes. If you have issues you are dealing with, avoid people until you have sorted it out to some degree. Interacting with anyone at that stage can be disastrous. If you work in an office, you can go to the kitchenette or the lounge, but use an earpiece so that people will not try to talk to you. If you want more privacy, you can go to a nearby coffee shop, but remember not to spend beyond your break period or you may get fired. 12. Your ability to concentrate continues to slip away. When you are depressed, you can't focus on things for long. Maybe it's the mind's way of coping. You can start something and not remember why you were doing it anymore. Do you ever start writing a memo and sleep away and come back to it without remembering why you were writing it? It may also be a sign of fatigue. But if it happens a lot over a short period, get professional help. 13. You just cannot get over doubting your moves, actions and decisions. Indecision is sometimes a good thing. If you're having indecision, it means you are considering all the odds. But at the same time, overthinking things will ensure you never do them. If you're always feeling indecisive about issues, you can, for a start, make a mental note to do whatever you decide without giving it much thought. If you still can't do it, try involving a friend who will help you stay accountable. In reality, being depressed is a tough situation. Everyone who is passing through this should have people around them who can support and encourage them. People who suffer from depression have sometimes committed suicide. 
14. Incessant worry over your past or what the future holds for you. Worrying will not change anything, but people worry all the same. So many problems arise out of worries. According to U.S. medical practitioner Diana Gall, stress can kill you. This can also increase the probability of heart disease for a perfectly healthy person. I know it isn't easy dealing with whatever you are dealing with, but you have to try not to think so much about it. Take a work every now and then, clear your head, forgive people that offend you, and smile. You have got this. Have a little faith. 15. You may want to work till you drop. It is easy to want to substitute everything with work. If you're feeling overwhelmed, sometimes doing a lot can make you not think so much about it, but you need to stop. Resting is a better strategy than working when you're dealing with grief or a sense of love. 16. Even when surrounded by a multitude of friends and loved ones, you still feel all alone. Do you feel alone right now? People feel emotionally alone when people around them cannot really relate to what they are passing through. If you don't want to feel so alone, maybe you can share with a loved one. Don't carry it all alone. You are here for each other. 17. You may entertain thoughts of suicide. Suicide is not the answer. If you're watching this video right now, I want you to know that you are loved and special. There was not and will never be another you. No matter the situation you have found yourself in, you will find a way out. You have come thus far. You have what it takes to continue until you reach your goals. Forget about what people will say. Do what you believe is the right thing to do. Don't give up. You are so close to the finish line. Why stop now? Wouldn't you like to know what it feels like to win? Don't quit now. 18. Chronic Fatigue According to Very Well Mind Blog, a loss of energy and chronic feeling of fatigue can be symptoms of both persistent depressive disorder and major depressive disorder. Feeling tired most of the time can interfere with a person's ability to function normally. It is okay to feel tired. I mean, who doesn't? If you are tired, get some rest. But for how long have you been in hibernation doing nothing really? When will you get tired? People who are depressed can sometimes feel very tired. If you have a stressful job and always come home tired, this may not apply to you. Finding your energy may not be easy, but with the company of other people, it is easier. If you're going into hibernation, have at least one of your friends on speed dial in case you ever want to discuss. Don't stay alone with your thoughts. You might end up harming yourself without the intervention of another person.